I started in music at a very, very early age. I was five years old when my grandmother gave me a guitar as a present, and that's when I started formally to study guitar. So by the time I was 10, my teacher quit on me and basically went to my mom and said, you know, his ear is stronger than my music, I quit. And uh, so I just continue from then on to this day by myself. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, we could, we could add just a little bit, you know, very subtle, but down fall sometimes at the end of the phrase in the fall in the in the flute. I started writing my own songs at the age of 10, you know, so by the time I was 12 I had already a band and by the time I was 16 I signed my first uh, record deal in Argentina, I come from Argentina. It was a particular type of music, a part of songwriting, which I always did, that was instrumental music and instrumental music that I did with a particular instrument called Ron Rocco and I did a whole album that is actually called Ron Rocco. One day I got a phone call from Michael Mann's office that wanted to, to use one of the pieces in the, in the album for his movie The Insider for Russell Crowe and Al Pacino. And kind of parallel to that I got contact by Alejandro González Iñárritu. He was doing Amores Perros. So I ended up, you know, doing that. He then introduced me to Walter Salles. I did the Motorcycle Diaries and suddenly, you know, I was doing music for, for movies. The film work was really what, what led uh, Neil to contact me to, to work on, on this video game, The Last of Us, which is my first video game. So this is... Um, and this one is using stuff this from is, everything? No, this is not, that's not a percussion, but it has Nashville and it has me playing. So okay. It's a combination of both, the solo cello and then me playing and then the orchestra. It's pretty heartbreaking, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crying yet? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. The most important thing that, that, that makes The Last of Us what it is, is that it's a very different project than other projects, with more emotional content, with more emotional connection between the players and the characters, more identification. I think probably that led them to think of somebody like me to do the music and not a more conventional composer. things about working with Neil in The Last of Us and with Jonathan too has been the freedom that I had. And I came out I think with some really really interesting stuff because of that you know total you know license to to try and do stuff and, and I will try really some really out stuff and they would love that you know. It's been for me a very very gratifying experience. <laughs> 